I just want to say I love you guys so much and thank you for being there for me. Guys, this couple is just, if you need any kind of counseling when it comes to relationship, they're the best. And they'll be true, they don't pretend to be perfect and they're just awesome. So if you want to quickly give us a word, a recommendation to the people that are already married or the people that want to get married, whatever it is. We need to hear what she had to say. She's the wordy one. You always get the lady go first. Let me hold this. We're going to see you properly. I'm broken because I was going to see you. Oh, thank you. No, it's okay, it's okay. I didn't even see that straight. You can't get hurt. You need your advice. Well, well, I have a lot to say about marriage. But um, relationship starts with friendship. That's what we've learned. So we don't. You don't. Wait, hold on. Are you guys listening? This is really important. But, um, we've learned that. Love does not keep a relationship. I don't care how much you love. Um, it's definitely friendship first, and then everything else after. My husband is not just my husband, but he's my friend. There's moments where he's driving me nuts as my husband, but he's still my friend. And when you have a friend, you respect them. There's a lot of couples that are married that are not friends, and that's the problem. This is why a lot of black people, black marriages, black relationships are not prospering because we are trying to um, be like what we see on social media. Right. Be right. who you are with your man. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. be who you are with your man. Understand how your man speaks, mm. how he receives information because yeah. communication is not just with words. Yeah. My, my dad just passed away on the 28th of April and it's crazy that I never told him that I wanted to see my best friend but he knew to make sure that she needed to be there. Oh. So it's sometimes it's not just the words but make sure you understand your person without them even speaking. Yes. Just like you study, you want to be a doctor, you study the books to learn how to do you know, certain operations. Same thing with your relationship, no different. Um, being married, do not do not listen to everybody on social media. Being married is actually fun. Yeah. Do you have hard times? Yes, of course. Anything is hard, you work, friendship, I mean, right? And so it's important about just making it work. Take a day, day at a time, like in the morning, I could be loving him next minute. He's driving me nuts. Sherry could tell you. We don't put an act on. What you see is what you get. Um, I have so much to say. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, I just want to say that if you want something to work, if both of you guys, not just one. It takes two. Yeah. One. Two, if you're dating, if you're someone that's dating right now, do not suppress who you are to please your man. Mm. All you will do. Word, 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 word. <laughs> All you will do is make yourself miserable. Mm. And what people don't understand is when you are married, Marriage exposes all your weaknesses. Right. Every last one of them, even the attitude that we have women. Mm -hmm. If you are married, she coming for us? submission has nothing to do with your husband. I know it sounds crazy. I'm going to get there. Right. <laughs> it has nothing to do with how he's acting at that moment. Mm -hmm. Submission is just that. You just submit. Now, I know submission, people think that, oh, you know, it's controlling. No. If a man truly loves you, he's not going to toy with your heart, and he's not going to take submission and throw it against you or put it against right. you, so to speak. Um, I suggest if you are dating uh, to get coaching with someone or, you know, a marriage counselor or something like that, don't wait till you're about to get married. Don't wait until you're married to get coaching. The reason why I say that is because a lot of times when you are dating and you are seeing a marriage coach, you learn that maybe I'm not so compatible with this person. But now you wasted two, three years dating someone now you, he wants to propose, and that's when you want to do marriage counseling or whatever. But and then that's when you realize, oh my gosh, we're not compatible. We can't get married. But you wasted two years when you could have learned that in the first six months. Mm -hmm. Men, it does not take you ten years to marry your girl. Hey! 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 Years to be 
married with someone. I get it. You will never, I've been with husband for 14 years. Do I fully know him? I don't. I'm not who I was when I met him when I was 22. I'm not the same person. Right. We are constantly changing. The goal to marriage, the goal to relationship is not to only grow, but to go in the same direction. Yeah. So that there is no infidelity. So that there is no separation or you guys or you're second guessing being with the person. It's the, the prayer is to, to grow in the same direction. I don't want the same things I want when I was 22. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Um, Date with a purpose. If you, it's men, if you know that you don't want to be married, don't date a girl that wants to be married. Right. Right. Date a girl Very that easy. wants to play around the way you want to play around. Don't waste people time. <laughs> Women. You gotta really have to city girl. Say that. <laughs> if you a city boy, get a city girl. Someone, don't tell them every detail about your life in the beginning. Mm. Let them learn you. Let them see if they want to study you. Right. The problem is we want to get to the ring so bad. This means absolutely nothing. Mm. It means nothing. Okay. <laughs> Do I want to be married? And what I mean by that is, wow. do I want to cheat today? Mm. Do I want to respect my husband today? Mm. Do I want to, oh, when he's having a bad day, do I want to respond? I know he's having a bad day. Women, we know men too. They are the, when they come home, I'm the first person that he sees. So if he had a bad day, unfortunately, I could sometimes <laughs> be the person he takes it out on. Mm -hmm. Don't take it personally. Mm -hmm. If you see he's already acting up, let him be for a little bit. Come back in an hour or two. You good now? <laughs> you know, but don't. Our mouth, women. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Our mouth. Relax on we this. tear down our home with our mouth. Mm. Mm. Just like you want to be, you know, you want your man to support you. You want him to, to show everyone that he loves you. You got to do the same thing to him. Mm. They want the men want to be catered to too. Mm. They want that. They want you to lay out outfits for them and plan dates. It's like we do. There's no difference. If you want to be treated a certain way, you treat them the same the same way. If you see that it's not working, women, stop forcing these men to be with y'all. Oh. If they don't want to be with you, they will show you. Men are very honest about how they feel, and they're honest with their actions. Because mm -hmm. when, when a man wants to, I promise you, he will. I don't care if it's two months or two years. So stop forcing these relationships to work. St if you are a triangle, you cannot fit into a square. Hey, hey. At all. No matter what you do, you can cut the corners and you still won't fit properly. Hey. But when it's the proper man, it will, listen, it goes in like this. My husband and I are so opposite. We're nothing alike. Trust me, I spent two yeah. separate days with each of them without each other. And it was, it was very opposite. Very opposite. But it works though. It works because when every, and I kid you not, I'm not saying this because he's here, I also share this. In every area of my life where I'm weak, he's strong. Mm. In every area that he is weak, I am strong. We literally... Jigsaw. Yeah, that. Um, I don't want to talk too much. I already talked enough. But I will say that take a relationship one day at a time and don't settle. Don't settle, don't settle. I know that you're thinking, okay, I'm getting to a certain age or I want kids. Don't settle because this is a lifelong commitment. Stop going into marriage having a backup plan. It's hot. I'm hot. Say it again. I didn't hear you. I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. Say it again. I wasn't recording. Say it again. I wasn't recording. Rewind, 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 rewind. Rewind, rewind. We go into marriage and like, you know what, what if this doesn't work out, what if, stop doing it because what you're doing is your tongue is powerful. Mm. And the devil hears those things that you're saying. Oh, Say that. She has, or he has a backup plan. Or she already saying, you know, if 
he does this, you know, then I'm going to like, no. no. Mm. Don't have that in forefront of your mind. Go into it with a positive thinking. Right? Mm. But go into it knowing that it's going to work. Amen. Go into it know, to know that um, it's actually what you want. Because yeah. there's some days you wake up, you don't want to be married. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I know everybody think, oh, you know, it's lovey. No, it's not always lovey-dovey. Because those hard moments is going to show you who you're truly with. Mm -hmm. I always tell, I always tell um, my husband that, I don't know why it's weird, but it's when we are going through the lowest, where our finances is being tested, or our kids are getting on our nerves, or whatever the case is, um, that's when our marriage is the best. I don't know why that is. I'm not saying I want to be broke, Lord. But, <laughs> but I just feel like we, we come together. When we are low on cash, we don't fight. If anything, we figure out, okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna set some eggs inside of the road? Like, what are we gonna do? Like, we come together. You guys stop letting money come in between your relationships. Mm. Because it's, I understand we need money to live. I get that. I know we need money to live, but stop letting it ruin your relationship. And stop letting the people on social media make you think that your relationship is not good enough. Right. Because that's their relationship, and you, they're only showing you the parts that they, they want, want you to see. Exactly. She's not showing you when she's crying every night because yeah. out smoking yeah. and drinking and hanging with his buddies. Mm. When you see the cute pictures and you see vacation and you want that. Yeah. And the last thing I'll say is stop saying you want what somebody else has. Mm. Because you don't know what they went through to get it. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. What she said? That's what happens when the Lord gives you a big bump. <laughs> So I'm going to keep it short. Yeah. So basically, yeah. 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 So very, very important to add to that. Don't be, don't be in competition with your partner. Yeah. Do not be in competition with your partner. You guys are on the same team. Amen. A lot of people are competing against each other. Oh, you did this, or oh, I'm going to do that. Right. Don't compete with your partner. Right. Number two, love language. Learn your partner's Ooh. love language. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has their love languages. There's actually a website where you can go in and take a little test, and it'll tell you what your love language is. Mm -hmm. Take a little test, and you guys can sit down and discuss it. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can figure out, wow, I didn't realize that's what he wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wants to be rubbed down and smacked. Okay. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Lastly, 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 like how we're arguing, arguments are important. You gotta have disagreements because we're not always gonna agree on everything. And when there's a disagreement, go ahead and just rush it head on. Have that conversation. Figure it out. You guys can come to an understanding. At least you know how they feel about certain things, mm -hmm. and you feel about certain things every day. I pull it to the side, say, "Babe," but you gotta wait till the right time, of yeah. course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I pull it on the side. I wait till the right time. I say, "Look, I didn't appreciate when this happened and that happened." And she's like, "Oh, okay," because now she's in a position yeah. to reflect and to think and to kind of, you know, be observant. Mm -hmm. And then she observes and she said, "You know what? Okay, I'm sorry about that." And we work it out. Yeah. So what is the wrong time to say? The wrong time to say is when both of you guys are mad and you guys are already arguing. Now you want to bring it up. Yeah. Tip for tap. Tip for tap. So please understand that relationships are not that complicated. It's all about listening most of the time and speaking less, and not not speaking as a response. Right. So just keep that in mind. Is that all I have. Thank you. Amen. Guys. Amen.